Alright, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to find the solution uh, by graphing. If you guys can remember the solution of a equation is whatever whatever two points is gonna or whatever is gonna make the equation true. And a solution is also all the points that are going to make up a line. So now when we're given two lines, what we need to do to find the solution is where those two lines are gonna intersect. It's gonna means what point satisfies both of those lines. So when it says to find the solution by graphing, we're gonna to have to graph them and look and see where their intersection is. So the first point is I need to graph this line, x plus two y equals four. Now there's two different ways you can solve for this, um, two different ways you can learn how to graph this. You could find the x and y intercepts and plot them, or you could also solve for y, put it in y slope intercept form, and then uh, graph it from there. And what I'm going to first do is, I'll solve for, I'll put it in slope intercept form. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to want to get everything away from my y. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So therefore I need to solve for y. So I'm going to subtract the x, because right now I have an x that's added to my y. Remember you have to undo all your operations to your variable. So I'm going to subtract an x on both sides, so I obtain 2y equals a negative x plus 4. And the reason why I write the x in front of the 4 is because I want it to look like in this form. I always want the x is in front of your b, and your b is your y-intercept. Then, now I have to undo my multiplication, so I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides. Remember that you have to make sure that you divide 2 by the x and a 2 by the 4. So therefore, I obtain y equals, now you can say a negative x over 2 plus a 4 over 2. You've got to make sure you divide that 2 into both of them. Well, one thing we always like to remember is there always is a 1 in front of that x. We don't always write it in mathematics, but we know there's a 1 in front of there. So what we can essentially rewrite this as is y equals a negative 1 half x plus 2. And if you guys look at what we just did is we get the exact same line. So as I'm going to graph them, to graph a line that's in slope intercept form, you first go to the y intercept, which is your b, and you go up to 2, and you make a nice big dot. Then you look at the slope, and you say from your point, the slope tells you where to go up or down, right or left. And since it's negative, I'm going to go. I'm going to make sure I'm going to be going in this down direction. So I'm going to go um, down one to the right two. Down one to the right two. Or you can also go up and to the left because going to the left is also going to be negative. So I just go and connect my line. And if I was going to graph this line, it would be exactly the same. Um, now, since I, it's kind of hard to do with markers, but one way I like to kind of describe this is these are exactly the same lines. So they're right on top of each other. And one way I like to think about this is if you had a blue line and then you had a yellow line and you put those two lines on top of each other, you would obtain a green line. So you can notice that every single point on those two lines are intersecting. So therefore, our solution our solution is going to be infinity. Because what happens is our graph, they don't just connect at one point. They don't intersect at one point. Every single point they, they uh, intersect. So your solution is going to be infinity. So that's how you find the solution by graphing.